Hello there. This is Dr. Samurai, a professor in Japan specializing in international social pathology. And the topic of today's my minute lecture is Hell's Angels Motorcycle Club. I think、uh, this big name rings a bell to everybody in America. Unfortunately, many、uh, foreigners, people abroad, t h i n k s It is pronounced health, health angels, you know? But、uh, health is like a hell, right? Opposite of heaven. Health angels. Sounds like some kind of a, a machine or a gimmick for becoming healthy. Or in Japan, it could mean、uh, some kind of cute girls, angels at a、uh, uh, parlor for sexual service. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying this because、uh, I see so many Japanese who、uh, pronounce it as、uh, health angels, but they are totally different meanings. So be careful and not to、uh, American people, okay? <clears throat> uh, some of you know the flying tiger, you know, fighter plane during the World War II、uh, was later called Hell's. Angels in a movie, and this is the very origin of the name. Those uh, uh, pilots and uh, operators of uh, you know uh, fighter planes, even after they came back home, they、uh, couldn't forget about the excitement that they once experienced in the sky. That Makes very a good sense because、uh, once you experience this level of high adrenaline, <clears throat> you are not satisfied with this level anymore. So they looked for something that gives them the similar thrill to what they felt as you know, pilot of a fighter plane. So they,、uh, this is the important point, okay? Uh, there were many small groups of bikers formed locally, like five people, three people, stuff like that. And they rode their Harley Davidson and、uh, enjoyed their wind, you know, that、uh, they、uh, felt in the plane, right? Those multiple small groups were. Sort of integrated to become a big motorcycle club. That seems to be what happened in the process of forming a motorcycle club. And Hell's Angels case, although there are some other scenarios, the most、uh, persuasive scenario of how the Hell's Angels was formed was、uh, it originated in.、Uh, Oakland, California chapter. Oakland, California chapter is the, you know,、uh, uh, the first chapter for Hell's Angels. <clears throat>、uh, Mr. Sonny Badger is considered to be the founder of the organization. Was、uh, formed, I mean,、uh, founded in 1948. In 1948. It's almost 1950, you know? And at this moment, there are 467 chapters, 467 chapters all over the 59 countries. 467 and 59 countries, you know? This is why Hell's Angels is the most known, you know,、uh, Motorcycle clubs. Although in,、uh, in old movies, the phrase biker gangs were used very often, they prefer to be called motorcycle club. In short, MC. You know, it's like Hell's Angels MC. Yeah, that's the right way of calling them. Oakland chapter being their headquarter, in order To、uh, create a new chapter, they have to get their permission. They, get, they must get approval by Oakland headquarters. 
it is organized like that. I happen to be a uh, kind of friend of uh, a person who uh, worked for a tattoo shop called Evil Inc. Right across the street from that uh, Oakland headquarters. And that uh, tattoo shop, you know, Evil Inc., the owner of the tattoo shop is that famous Mr. David Labraba. David Labraba, uh, who played uh, Happy in uh, Sons of Anarchy TV series. So, uh, Mr. Labraba was the kind of consultant to that TV series as a real active member of Hell's Angel so that uh, every detail be you know along the line with uh, what is really happening in today's uh, MC world as I said uh, it is a motorcycle club but uh, in reality it uh, has the other side which everybody know not just a motorcycle club I am not sure it all depends on each individual or their club policy but uh, normally even if they have a uh, an open party to the people outside inside the clubhouse the office there's this area which is closed with chains to outsiders so uh, we can pretty much say there is a, an area open to public and an area not open to public. Let's uh, stop it as far as there, okay? But uh, because I had that uh, tattooist friend, which was op pretty much operated by Hell's Angels, I mean, a member of Hell's Angels, I could, uh, I could uh, participate in a club party. Uh, I forget the exact year, but uh, it does not mean everybody can enter Hell's Angels party. At the entrance, you pay the entrance fee and uh, they always ask you who is your friend, who are you affiliated with, and stuff like that to uh, double check on the nature of you, you know what kind of person you are. So I said uh, I'm a friend of that uh, Evil Inc. and he is also coming a little bit later. And I was okay and they uh, put the stamp on my hand. Interesting, they use this uh, uh, black light stamp for uh, like a strip club, any kind of a nightclub, you know, uh, Hell's Angels party. They also use not a black light type, but uh, they also use a stamp to enter a uh, prison for a visitation, you know. But uh, again, I have to emphasize, you must know somebody inside. That is the kind of society. Okay, by God's rule. Because I uh, had to drive from across the Bay Bridge, because I uh, stayed in San Francisco, I thought uh, it would be better for me to have enough time, so I kind of started too early. So when I got there, there were still a few people, except for the members of the headquarters. In our Oakland headquarters, they were sitting and talking to each other, and uh, girls, I assume, girlfriends or the <clears throat> old ladies of the members were preparing uh, to serve beer and drinks at the bar counter inside the clubhouse on the first floor. There's this uh, bar counter; you can drink like uh, any kind of bar and uh, if my uh, memory is correct the floor was linoleum pattern was like a black and white square big square you know black and white so inside looked uh, very uh, fashionable as i said i was one of the very few outsiders at the time there's this old gentleman of the oakland club 
offering to sell a poster on which all the members put their signatures on. I, I, I think、uh, he was offering it for like $40 and stuff, but、uh, I just、uh, politely replied, let me think about it until I go back. I waited for my friend to show up, but、uh, at the time, His wife was pregnant and、uh, she didn't feel good about his husband going out when she is home pregnant. So it、uh, seemed like he couldn't go out. So I got to be ready to be alone all the way at the party. And gradually people、uh, started to come in and、uh, their floor was filled with、uh, probably. Between 100 and 200 people, 200 people maybe. And there was a band playing the music and stuff, and everybody comes in group and d r i n k beer and eat,、uh, you know, barbecue and stuff like that, you know, starting in an early evening on Sunday, I, I believe. But one thing I still cannot forget about is、uh, see, I, I was just wearing. This、uh, jacket with、uh, the shoulders only. But all the rest of the people wear leather j a c k e t with、uh, full patches, you know, like bikers, original, you know,、uh, logos on the backside, their group name at the top rocker, and at the bottom rocker, their regions, their territory. and Their logo signs like a skull and stuff like that. MC Motorcycle Club, you know, you see them front side, or it could be in the back side too. You see, like one percenter. I'm gonna talk about it later, but、uh, what I'm talking about is I was surrounded with the、uh, 200 people who all wear jackets with the biker identities. It does not mean they are all Hell's Angels. Hell's Angel is the biggest one in the area, and there are multiple smaller ones. So they show up to pay respect, and also they show up wanting to make friends with the strong ones. Anyway, for me to be totally alone, there's no place. To feel peaceful, so I、uh, found this、uh, room where there's nobody, only chairs were arranged. So I sat on one of the chairs, but even that space was、uh, starting to be crowded, and、uh, in the end, it became、uh, packed. And I thought, what's going on here? You know, because nothing was happening. All I saw was this、uh, big bird cage with the grid, and it was all black. And、uh, I came to know what it is for. Five minutes after, two、uh, naked girls came in, exotic dancers, and they started to、uh, dance inside the cage. Bird like cage, which is way bigger, and、uh, people started to surround them. Of course, most of them are guys, and、uh, they keep、uh, you know, giving them、uh, tips and stuff like that. And、uh, I started to see, oh, I see, this is what it is, right? But everything was a learning moment to me. It was fun, it、uh, would have been much better. If、uh, I you know,、uh, had been with my friend. But anyway. But、uh, I think about、uh, one hour into the party, suddenly this one guy with a different patch than Hell's Angels was、uh, kind of grabbed you know, by the neck like a cat and、uh, taken out by a couple of.、Uh, You know,、uh, Hell's Angels members. I was、uh, listening to、uh, what others were talking about, and、uh, it seems he, you know, didn't want to,、uh, you know, give his own money as tips to the girls. So there were a bunch of、uh, tips already laid back on the、uh, inside the bird cage, and he kind of picked up, you know. 
some of those and gave it to girls as if it was his own money. That's the reason he was grabbed out of the clubhouse. I assume wearing a different、uh, patch, he could never enter the party again, I'm sure. And also, it was a kind of showdown, too. Oakland headquarters being the center of 467. 467 walled chapters. This is the center headquarter. So, how they act shows the, what the Hell's Angels really is to everybody attending at the party. And that、uh, instant switch to、uh, military like movement, those,、uh, you know,、uh, patch holders, like, I think it was. More than two, you know, it was、uh, three or you know, it was five and stuff like that. They moved so fast and grabbed the guy and dragged him out of the clubhouse. And right after the incident, this、uh, guy who uh, looks uh, still very young, probably、uh, around 40 or under 40, wearing a white vest, which was unusual, took a microphone and、uh, Explained what happened, and he uh, clearly uh, uh, let us know the rule. And、uh, we kind of got back to the fun party again, you know. So it was、uh, something like another attraction, in addition to uh, those uh, dancing exotic dancers. Like I said, I Was from San Francisco, and I had to fly back to Japan the very next day, so it's, it was about time for me to、uh, leave. So I got out of、uh, the crowds, and、uh, once I was out,、uh, there were over 100 Harley Davidson parked in lines so beautifully. And there were about 10 full members taking care of、uh, you know,、uh, motorcycles of the guests who came to the party. So、uh, I just wanted to leave something you know, for、uh, my future memories. So I talked to one of the you know,、uh, full member gentlemen.、Uh, hi, and、uh, thank you for taking care of. You know, the safety, and、uh, by the way, I'm going back to Japan tomorrow. And would it be possible to、uh, have you with me in, in a picture? And he goes, Yeah, sure, but、uh, I am still on duty, so it's gotta be quick. And me and him stood like next to each other, and he goes like this, and clicked, and here you go. And he got back to his. Business and it was cool. I could clearly feel what he is capable of as a、uh, full patch holder. You know, to be a full patch holder, you have to go through a couple of months or a couple of years prospect period and you have to do some big business for the chapter as some entrance examination. And you pass it, you can become. Full time member. Once you become full patch holder of the chapter, the responsibility is different. Nobody can touch you like made guy in mafia organizations, but they ride motorcycles, right? So, seeing the way he、uh, responded to me and acted and getting back to his business, right? Away, it was very impressive to me. That is pretty much it. You know, this、uh, minute lecture is not about a specific thug friend, but、uh, I thought、uh, it would be、uh, interesting to you who may not know so well about the inside of one person to motorcycle club and.、Uh, I said one percenter, right? That means uh, some uh, mayor or police captain, I forgot, said when, when he talked about uh, uh, motorcycle clubs, 
99% of the motorcycle clubs are law-abiding citizens. Only 1% of them break the law and do uh, criminal activities. Since then, those uh, hardcore motorcycle clubs get to be called one percenter and that one percenter cannot be bought that cheaply you know let me stop it around there i hope uh, i gave you uh, something uh, interesting this time and up until next time you know please have a uh, wonderful time okay bye bye now